Hello everybody, my name's Liz, I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. So today's video is me sharing my two makes that I got sewn up as part of the hashtag Sew Vintage September. So I shared a vintage pattern haul and then I've been asking for advice on which fabrics to use and which versions to go for. So I thought I would share in a bit more detail what I actually got sewn up. Um, so I will wear them for this video because I think it's really good for you to see what they look like um, and I can do a bit of swishing and moving as well. I've only shown one so far on Instagram and it's the one that I'm wearing. So I thought I'd talk first of all about the one that I'm wearing and then I'll get changed into the jumpsuit. So this dress I use the style 2290 So Simple pattern and I use, and I sewn, I, I can't talk today. And I sewed up this version and it is a pull over the head flared dress and then you can um, make a matching scarf. I think she's wearing a matching scarf there. It's got um, bias cut raglan sleeves and then the scooped neckline which you bind with bias binding using the same fabric that you make your dress in. Um, so view one has got sleeves that are below el elbow length and they've got elastic in and view two has short wide flared sleeves so I went for this version with the short flared sleeve and I just love the sleeve it's got so much movement to it it's amazing so in my um, September makes video I shared this very briefly and I said when I'd finished it I felt like it looked a bit like a hospital gown. So I will stand up and I'll take the belt off so you can see what I mean. Um, but I used this fabric that I got from Sumi Sunshine. It's beautiful black and white floral fabric. And then it's got sort of yellow dots all over it in the, not yellow dots. The flowers have got yellow in the center. So this is it with the belt. I'm just gonna move my chair over a second. So this is it with the belt and it sort of brings it in, but then it creates this like blousy effect, you know, on the front and the back. Just pull that down, the front and the back. It's got this gorgeous swishy skirt, which is fabulous. And then like I said, these sleeves, I just absolutely love them. Now, if I take the belt off, you'll see what I mean. This is it without the belt and you can see how roomy it is. And I just feel like it's a bit hospital gowny. Um, it's really roomy. This is it without the belt and you can see it is quite roomy and I just think a combination of the print and the style of dress it does look a little bit like a hospital gown um, yeah because it's quite it's really roomy. So I made the belt the scarf is quite wide but the belt I chose to make it quite narrow so that I could wear a little belt with it that would bring it in and just add a bit of shape and I much prefer that with a bit of shape. You still get the swishy skirt, you still get the swishy sleeves. I can still do a twirl if I wanted to. Um, yeah, and the fabric gets to move in that really lovely drapey way. But it just adds a bit of shape for me. So that's just my personal preference. Um, so this pattern was gifted to me and it is a size 14, which is a bust 92. Uh, and on the back, that comes up as a 36 inch bust. So I, on this pattern, would have fallen into a size 12, but this was gifted to me. So I did have to play around with the sizing here and the sizing on the back. And actually it's still quite roomy along the neckline. So what I had to do, there's a seam line that runs down the front. I don't know if you can see it on the line drawing. There's a seam line that runs down the front and there's a seam line that runs down the back. So what I had to do was just take some of the fabric out of the front seam line and then take some of the fabric out of the back seam line before I added the bias binding along here. Um, because originally the neckline was just really low. I also had to take a little bit out of the sort of shoulder, although it's a raglan, um, it's a raglan sleeve. So I just pinched a little bit out of the sleeve pattern piece um, just to help with fitting it around here because I knew that it would come up a little bit big because it's not my size. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed sewing it up. The instructions, I'll get them out to show you. They're really basic in comparison to what I'm used to with um, indie patterns. So the pattern um, instructions come like this on a big piece of paper. So that's the layout and then it shows you the pattern pieces. 
and then these are the instructions so they're very limited they're very basic instructions um you know the first thing is um stitch center front seam matching medium dots stitch front to back at side seams um stitch underarm seam you know they're, they're very like one sentence to help you um so i felt confident enough to give it a try because I've been sewing for a couple of years now and I've got quite a lot of experience sewing lots of different things. There are pictures to help you, which is great. Um, I mean, it only had a couple of pattern pieces anyway. You know, you've got the front and the back, then you've got the sleeve and then you've got the scarf. Although for this pattern, um, it didn't have the scarf piece in there. It was gifted to me, so that pattern piece was missing. But I could just make my own pattern piece up for that. Um, really enjoyable sew. It was a really simple dress. I'm not sure I would have the confidence to make something that's slightly more tricky. Um, but I'll definitely wear this out. I'm really looking forward to wearing it to work. I've got some red shoes that I'm going to wear it with. Um, and this fabric has been in my stash for years. So I'm really pleased that I have finally got use for this. So it's not just sat in my stash anymore. Um, and like I said, it's gorgeous fabric. It's not the sort of thing that I would normally go for because um, it's black and white. Normally I go for something that's a bit more bright, but having something like this now in my wardrobe means that some of my brighter shoes, I can wear with it. Um, I can wear it with black tights and then use my shoes as a pop of colour. So that was the first one that I made and it was the um, Style 2290 in this version. Um, and I'm just going to get changed and put on the jumpsuit that I made. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I went for the really jazzy fabric. Um, again, I got this fabric from Semi Sunshine. And I decided to use the Simplicity 7909 um, play suit jumpsuit pattern. And I did, in the end, go for this version, the full-on version. I love this fabric. It really makes me smile. I've got a dress made out of this fabric already. And actually, it was my husband that really encouraged me to use this fabric to make the jumpsuit version. And I'm really pleased that I did. And I can't wait to be able to go out to dinner um, and wear this. Um, so I'll stand up so you can see what it looks like. Um, but like I said, I went for the jumpsuit version and I went for the full sleeve and then it's got this um, elastic cuff. Now, as you can see, it's quite big on me and I am gonna bring that in. I'm gonna take some of the elastic out um, and just bring that in so it does sit more like a cuff. Um, so you get a bit more of that volume of the sleeve because at the moment, both sides, they're still a bit too, a bit too big. So I need to unpick um that and just take some of the volume or some of the length out of the elastic but it is um the jumpsuit version i'll stand up so you can see so full wide legged trousers i will put pictures in of me wearing them oh. and then i've got the sleeve that goes down here it's really fun i just love this fabric i think it's fantastic i opted for a little belt i had a bit of fabric left and on the pattern cover both here and here they have gone for a little belt too um i just felt it was a bit roomy around here and i needed something to sort of bring it in and i quite like that it's given so if i fasten that up i quite like that it's created sort of a blouse effect there and then the same on the back so it looks a little bit like i've got a top on and then trousers um but yeah it's really fun. I really love it. I know it's really bright and I know it's really bold and quite fun. Probably not to everybody's cup of tea, but I really love that aspect of sewing. I love being able to make something that is unique to me and it's something that I'm going to really love. It makes me smile when I put this on. It's not something I would wear to work, but definitely on a nice dinner um, date or, you know, going out with friends. I think I would wear this definitely. It's really fun. It was a really enjoyable sew. Like the other one, the instructions are quite limited and there was a pattern piece or two pattern pieces missing for this one, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, so you end up with the layout. So it tells you what pattern pieces you should have and then layout suggestions for cutting. And then on the other side, again, quite simple instructions with pictures. So very limited instructions. Um, I kind of made up the construction myself. 
I didn't really look at the instructions. I've made jumpsuits before, so I did kind of make it up as I went along and didn't rely too heavily on the instructions. Um, and it was quite a st straightforward So There's only a few pattern pieces. So you've got this one and this one for the full on jumpsuit. And then you've got these two pattern pieces for the shorter jumpsuit. And then you've got the sleeve, which is an interesting sleeve. And then you've got the um, front neck facing and the back neck facing. Now for my for this pattern, those two pattern pieces were missing. So the front facing and the back facing. So I just had to draft my own. And the way that I did that was I used the pattern piece for the front and the back and I just traced the neckline so that I could work out what pattern pieces I needed for there. And then I just made it sort of the standard length that you would or the standard thickness that you would for a facing piece based on other pattern pieces that I have in my stash. Um, so it's quite straightforward actually to um, draft those pieces. I'm glad those were the pieces that were missing and not these, because if these weren't there, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Um, this was a size 12. Um, and like I said, that was the correct size for my bust. Um, so I'm just looking at the measurements now. That's telling me what fabric we needed. So let's have a look. Size 12, yeah, 34 inch bust, 25 and a half inch waist. My waist is bigger than 25 and a half inch. And then hips was a 36 inch. Again, my hips are smaller than that. Um, it has got a zip in the back that comes up all the way up to the top of the neckline. Um, it's collarless, as you can see, it hasn't got, but it's got this sort of, it's not a funnel neck. It's difficult to describe, but you can see here in a firmer fabric that would stand a bit more crisp I guess I think that's what I'm trying to say you can see it's quite a crisp neckline on those ones this is a really drapey fabric so I've still got that but it's not I guess it's not standing as crisp I don't know if that's making sense um it has got raglan sleeves which were fun to insert and then it's got the back zip and then you can also insert not insert and then it says that you can oh yeah you can add a belt so they've got they started with a belt there and then we've got this gold chain belt there. But I just used a strip of fabric that I had left over to create quite a long belt to match with the jumpsuit. And then, um, so we've got ankle lengths, regular lengths. So I went for um, sort of regular lengths. So, which I think is ankle length actually. I haven't got any shoes on, so I'm quite reluctant to show my feet. Ooh. But yeah, it goes up goes all the way down to the floor basically where I would expect it to go down to um, and then like I said the cuff is finished with an elastic and I just need to take some length out of that elastic because I do want the um, cuff to finish like that so you get that volume in the sleeve I mean I still get the volume in the sleeve it's just not as pronounced because the um, elastic isn't sort of against my skin there's quite a gap there and that's just an error on my part I need to unpick that and take some length out of the elastic um, which will be quite an easy thing to do so all in all really delighted actually with that vintage pattern too um, and the challenge has made me want to sew up a few more of the vintage patterns that I've got in my stash and I am planning to do another video that shares some more of my vintage patterns that I was gifted um, I've got a couple kept behind me here. So I've got this one, which again is a um, wide leg jumpsuit, which I'm quite keen to give a try. And then you can also, uh, oh no, it's not a jumpsuit actually, it's separates. So you've got wide leg trousers or wide leg like halot type style. And then it's got this really interesting shirt top type thing. So I'm quite keen to try that. That's a Vogue pattern, 7458. And then I've also got this one, which I really like the style of the dress. I like the neckline. So this is the style 4940. And I really love that neckline detail. Um, and that's a dress, again, with these really dramatic sleeves, um, which are really big at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to giving that one a try. But then I've got loads more. So I could definitely do another video. There's a coat, I just love this coat. So beautiful. I haven't really got time to sew a coat at the moment, but eventually I'd like to get through some of those. And then there's loads more. So I think I will do another video sharing some more of my vintage patterns. 
Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with this jumpsuit and I'm really pleased with this dress. I've got two things now in my wardrobe using the vintage patterns that I'll definitely get lots and lots of wear out of. Um, I hope you found that interesting. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I will be back with a fabric haul video next, I think, and a couple of patterns that I've bought. Um, hope whatever you're up to, you're well and keeping safe, and I hope you have a lovely weekend or week. Take care, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!